students let us study next uh, concept in this uh, chapter that is the uh, prefixes used okay so we have studied in the last class that is the uh, uh, five seven fundamental units that is the uh, length mass time then uh, current and temperature number of substance moles and uh, candela this we have studied so now let us know how to measure that or the numbers if it is a large number so then we can use some prefixes or it is very small number like example the size of an atom it is very very small so how to explain that how to express that so that is known as a prefixes or if it is very large the radius of an earth very large number or number of uh, uh, moles that is a avoga uh, trose number it is large number large quantity such numbers can be expressed in the some of prefixes okay kelavondu number gulu baal doddu irutade adanna hege express madbeku athava baal sadu irutade adanna hege express madbeku anthe so that is called as a of prefixes already we have used kelavondu nimge gottiddane you use madi udaharanege kilo kilogram kilometer anthe helidre centimeter millimeter ella use madidre so that is nothing but the prefixes here okay so what is that value kilo andre eshtu milli andre eshtu antu gottagutte because we are using some numerical problems or expressions avaga namge adanna express madlikke gottagusalagi ee gott idanna na use madta idde okay so prefixes used in the s i s s prefixes used in the s i system SI system ಅಲ್ಲಿ prefix ಅನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು so let us go with a small number small quantity in a large quantity so normally we know that is a uh, computer students now you are using that is a computer size that use for that ನಿಮಗೆ picometer or pico ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ so that is the thing but so write one by one here 10 raised to -12 that is called as a Pico, small p symbol. Okay. Next is a ten raised to minus nine nano. You are using this so nanometer, nano car and that kind of thing. So that is the thing. Mata ten raised to minus nine. Next is a microscope and that kind of thing. What is that? Ten raised to minus six is a micro. It symbolizes on you. Next is a ten raised to minus three. Is a ten raised to minus three. Is a milli millimeter. So millimeter is raised to ten raised to minus three meter. So you apply one of the things that we have learned. So you must know how to apply it. Where to apply it? So ten raised to minus three is a milli. Then 10 raised to minus 2 is a centi centimeter c. Then 10 raised to minus 1 is a deci. Okay. See 10 raised to minus 12 and 10 raised to two. That is the p and ten per cent. Sometimes ah, uh, so we especially the uh, Size, size of the uh, radius is a picometer. The length of it. So that is a picometer ten raised to minus two. Nano car, I think that no, you are using. So that is nano is what ten raised to minus nine. This is just the end of it. Micro, that is ten raised to minus six. New, milli, ten raised to minus three. Centi, ten raised to minus two. C. C is a matter of time. That is a matter of centimeter. C is a matter of C is the thing about ten raised to minus. Yeah, ma'am, but you know, so that is the thing about millimeter. Millimeter means you can replace this yam with the ten raised to minus three. Very very important by solving the problems. Program get bigger. Okay, so these are some small numbers. Now I go for larger number means some more than this. So ten raised to minus one, one by ten, point one. Next is one. Other than that, ten by ten. That is a red as a decimal. That is a ten 
the deca that is known as the symbol is a de next 10 raised to 2 that is a hecto hectometer that is h next 10 raised to 3 10 raised to 3 is how much 10 raised to 3 is how much it is a 1000 so 10 raised to 3 is 1000 that is a kilo small k next is a 10 raised to 6 is a mega mega byte attacker is capital m next 10 raised to 9 giga next 10 raised to 12 tera so like this up we are using some of prefixes so prefixes are there these are part of the prefixes So we are writing as well. For example, five kilometer. Five kilometer. That means you know, five kilometer is what? Five. What do you mean by kilo? Kilo is to ten raised to three meter. So that is the meaning. Kilo is zero. Ten raised to three. Similarly, you can write it as a zero point two five millimeter. 0.25 मिलीमीटर अंदर रहता है जो 0.25 मिलीमीटर है ये मीन्स 10 रेस्ट टू माइनस 3 10 रेस्ट टू माइनस 3 मीटर मतलब मिलीमीटर वाले जगह सो दिस यम स्टैंड्स फॉर मिली दिस के स्टैंड्स फॉर किलो सो लाइक दैट अप वी यूज द मीनिंग ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट वी आर यूजिंग इन द इंटर क्लास ओके So now let's go for the next concept of. So we have studied of the matter. Matter is having a some mass and occupy some space. So mass must be weight. What is the difference between mass and weight? Okay. So mass is the known drawer ratio. Weight is the thukka. Drawer ratio is the thukka. Can we tell us that? Okay. So mass is a remains constant. Whereas the weight changes from place to place, so the weight ratio change आगे लास्ट है इतना, but two का change आगे है. Very good example is that when you take a weight of a any object on the earth and same weight if you observe in the moon, it is a difference. Six per two, R per two कड़वे पर तो नहीं. One by six that is the ratio. So that is nothing but Uh, the difference because of the gravitational force. Guru to anchor shall shut it. There are two kinds. So two kinds of definition. But we can write it is having some direction. It is a vector quantity. The it is a towards the acceleration due to gravity. Okay. So that is a mass and the weight. Mass is a scalar quantity. Mass is a scalar. quantity mass is a scalar quantity and mass is a thing of mass is a constant constant for an object whereas weight weight is a vector quantity Vector quantity is that it is having some direction. In the physics, then what is the scalar or the vector? Only detail I am going to do. And our weight is of changes. Weight changes from place to place. Or weight is related to gravity. weight is related to gravity so this is about the mass and the weight so mass and weight dravya rashi devan ke weight and thukka so thukka ke gurutvakarshana shakti idre that is dravya rashi ke gurutvakarshana shakti idre then the weight and okay so now let us go for a one more of that is the next is a uh, volume volume and you know gatra okay so 
We know area. Area is what? Area is the length into breadth. Okay. Mister, we have to know. Udda we have to add that to it. As we have to add that, when you consider for volume, volume is nothing but a volume is a quantity which is having the length, breadth, and the height. Udda. अगल डेंसिटी इज नथिंग बट द अ मास बाय वॉल्यूम डेंसिटी अंदर सांद्रता कन्वर्ट द सांद्रता सो डेंसिटी इज नथिंग बट द इज अ डेंसिटी इक्वल टू इफ आई राइट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ डेंसिटी डेंसिटी इक्वल टू मास डिवाइड बाय वॉल्यूम नाउ आवर एम इज टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द एसआई यूनिट फॉर डेंसिटी सो एसआई यूनिट फॉर डेंसिटी इज What is the density mass? And then mass is in terms of kg. Volume is a meter cube. So this is the SI unit. SI unit of density. Now we will ask one more question. What is the SI unit of density? That is the kg per meter cube. Mass by volume. What is that? The SI unit of density is a kg per meter cube. Okay. Or this can be also be done. If you take this denominator, you can get the whole result. This minus one will come. So that means what? Kg per meter cube. So yes, I am writing the right this or this. Kg per meter cube. So this is what the volume by the density. So next uh, uh, we are going to study the temperature. So temperature is a measure in terms of a degree centigrade. Okay, or degree Celsius and there are. But the SI unit of density uh, temperature is what? Is a Kelvin. And one more unit we know when you take on uh, when you are getting some fuel. Zero point five gram. We check mark that body temperature. So that is what in terms of this in terms of a Fahrenheit. Okay. So there is a degree Celsius, Kelvin, and a Fahrenheit. So now let us uh, take that relation. Okay. Sometimes the question will be asked: Convert this into Kelvin. Convert this into Fahrenheit. So therefore, you must know the relation to the degree centigrade. A degree Celsius and a Kelvin and a uh, Fahrenheit. Temperature So in case of temperature, we are having the three temperature units. That is a degree Celsius. Degree Celsius, then Kelvin, and Fahrenheit. Degree Celsius, degree Celsius, degree Celsius, then Kelvin and Fahrenheit. So that is all. डिग्री सेल्सियस अंद्रेलियस 273.15 kelvin and uh, same thing if you want to write in terms of fahrenheit it is a 32 degree fahrenheit so 0 degree celsius is nothing but 273.15 and uh, fahrenheit means uh, in terms of fahrenheit it is a degree 32 degree fahrenheit okay so now let us uh, take the relation between uh, this Degree Fahrenheit equal to 
9 by 5 9 by 5 into degree centigrade plus 32 this is the relation so degree Fahrenheit 5 by 1 because degree centigrade is particular so then what I have to do 9 by 5 into degree centigrade is particular as plus 32 for example 0 degree Celsius and the to Fahrenheit here we go 9 by 5 into 0 plus 32 0 into any number is what? 0 only so 0 plus 32 is a 32 Fahrenheit 0 degree centigrade by 32 Fahrenheit so this is a relation between a degree Fahrenheit and a degree centigrade then uh, Kelvin scale and the third so what is the relation between Kelvin scale? so Kelvin is equal to so how much Kelvin is equal to? so if you want to calculate that is the thing but uh, degree centigrade plus a 273.15 means if it is a 0 degree centigrade is right? 0 plus 273.15 is 0 degree centigrade is a 273.15 Kelvin so this is the relation very very important relation now let us take one more problem on this third one 25 degree centigrade into degree Fahrenheit and a Kelvin. So, we have 25 degree centigrade put in the other number, yes, to Fahrenheit and then find it. So, how do you get a convert this 25 degree into Fahrenheit and Kelvin? So, what is the relation? You know? So, degree Fahrenheit equal to 9 by 5 into degree centigrade plus 30. Okay. So, now 25 degree put in the So, therefore, I can write down Fahrenheit that is if you want to convert into Fahrenheit so 9 by 5 into 25 plus 32 so that is a 25 degree centigrade into this much what? this much Fahrenheit are. so 5 ones are 5 five are so that is equal to 45 plus 32 70, 77 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. So, conversion of 25 degree centigrade into Fahrenheit to my next month. So, we have to substitute degree centigrade. Other things you want to do with the month. Okay. Now, I want to convert into Kelvin. Kelvin is what I want to do. So, 25 plus 273 point. 1 pi that is a sorry 8298.15 Kelvin and the mother is in the center. This is Kelvin, degree Fahrenheit. So, this is how to convert from a degree centigrade to either Fahrenheit or a Kelvin. Okay. So, same way you can take our homework here. This is our formula. Convert 37 degree centigrade and 100 degree centigrade into Kelvin and Fahrenheit. So you take it as a woman. Convert 37 degree centigrade into Kelvin as well as Fahrenheit. Also convert 100 degree centigrade into Kelvin into Fahrenheit. Okay. Now let us go for the next concept. That is a scientific notation. Let us take our next concept is a scientific notation. Scientific notation. What do you mean by scientific notation? 
scientific notation and rain. So scientific notation is nothing but expression expressing a number in terms of a, a single digit with a multiples of a 10. That is known as a scientific notation. Just I will take a first example, then I will show you what is the meaning of this. So scientific notation is right. For example, 5134. So this can be written as the multiple of 10. Is a hey by the multiple of 10 then we can write. So this can be written as 5.134. You know 5000 in it. 5.134. Where do you say that? Like Both are not same. So to mention, to get this in terms of 1000, what I do? Into 10 raised to 3. So Avala, both are same. Now it is same. So expressing this in terms of this, there is one number, then decimals in terms of a 10 to the power. That is called as a scientific notation. For what what the idea? Scientific notation of the arrow, e riti kotanta number or some other number. Suppose it will be 0.001223. So, how to write now? See, it is less than 1, it is a 10 raised to minus 1, more than 1, 10 raised to plus 1. That you have to keep in mind. So, this equal to what I have write 1.23 into. So, you have to write one that is equal. 1.23 into so now I have changed and transfer this point in the name of the 1, 2, 3. So you have 10 raised to minus 3 by 4. So because of transferring 1 here, 10 raised to minus 1, 10 raised to minus 2, 10 raised to minus 3. Okay. So this is the writing, this is known as a scientific notation. Okay. So therefore, all, a number which can be expressed. In the form of n into 10 raised to n is called as a scientific notation. Very very important for a further concept also as well as solving the when solving the problem you have to write answer in terms of a scientific notation very very good. Computative exams to other theory correct. Okay. I hope you want to only by scientific notation. So scientific notation is nothing but writing a number in the form of a n into 10 raised to n. What is this n? This n is nothing but 1.00 again up to 9.999%, not 10. So 1 in the 9.9, 10 is 1.0 and 10 is 10 raised to 1. So it is single digit. So scientific notation, a number which can be represented. In the form of n into 10 raised to n, where n is a uh, 1 to 9, and uh, this is small n is either a positive or negative. Minus no amudu, plus no. Okay. So this is the put of scientific notation. Let us take some more example on the, this. Express the following express the following in terms of in a scientific notation. Express the following in a scientific notation. Okay. <laughs> So, this is equal. Now, I want to write in terms of n into 10 raised to n. So, here point 0, 0, 
four eighty eight. So I can write this as four point. Okay, this zero is another this point another decimals. Then you shift more than so four point eight into ten raised to how much? I shifted here point one, point two, point three is a ten raised to. Now here any point is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Means two point three four into ten raised to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what is zero going to be? When it is on left side, when it is on the right side, what is it? And what is zero going to be? Two point three four into ten raised to five. What about this? Eight thousand eight thousand nine hundred and forty-two. Ten raised to three. So eight point two zero. Now you have to write here zero zero eight into ten raised to three. What about this? It is what five hundred point zero. This is what we have to write down. Okay. Significant thing that we have to write down. Okay. Next, next step, plus getting. So here, what is five hundred is on? It is five into Ten raised to two. This is what. This is a six point zero zero one two. Same thing because already in the scientific notation. So that is the data scientific notation. Okay. So this is how to express the scientific notation. Okay. I hope you followed these things. So today we have covered up. It is a prefix. Then, uh, what is the meaning of that prefix? Any use mark the way any use mark the way. Then uh, mass and a uh, volume. Then uh, density, temperature and a uh, scientific uh, notation. Okay. In the next class, we are going to go for a uh, next a uh, uh, significant figure. Significant figure and even a figure of the knowledge being got to know. So you require this knowledge. Significant figure then. Uh, accuracy and appreciation okay thank you